Choose all the relationships that are described by the following equation. Y is equal to 7 eighths x. All right, let's look at these relationships. Relationship A, a bouquet of eight daisies costs $7 at Flora's Flowers. A bouquet of 12 daisies costs $11. The equation describes the relationship between the number of daisies x and their price at Flora's Flowers y. So let's look at scenario A. So our x is the number of daisies, and our y, our y is their price. Our y is a price. So when we get eight daisies, when we get eight daisies, they say it costs us seven dollars. When we get 12 daisies, they tell us that it costs eleven dollars. So let's see whether this relationship right over here is the same as this relationship right over here. So if I were to take, so let me write this right over here. So here it says y needs to be equal to 7 eighths x. So let's figure out what 7 eighths x is equal to. So 7 eighths x, so if I take 7 eighths times 8, well that's going to be 7. Let me write this down. 7 over 8 times 8 is equal to 7. So this checks. 7 eighths x is the same as the price that they gave us. So so far, these two seem consistent, at least based on this first data point. Now let's look at 7 eighths of 12. 7 eighths times 12. Let's see, if we divide 12 and 8 each by 4, this is going to be the same thing as 7 times 3 over 2, which is the same thing as 21 over 2, which is equal to 10.5. So if y were equal to 7 eighths x, 12 daisies would cost $10.50, but we just learned that 10, 12 daisies cost $11. So these two things, these two things aren't equal to each other. Aren't equal to each other. So we, this is not the same relationship. In this scenario, y does not equal 7 eighths x. So we can rule this one out. Let's look at relationship B. There's a 12.5% discount for every item at Crazy Joe's. The equation describes the relationship between a given item's price before the discount and after the discount. So here they're giving us a percentage. They're giving us a percentage. And this equation right over here, it's written as a fraction. So let me at least convert this into a fraction and see what kind of a fractional discount this is. And maybe I can construct an equation and see if that equation is the same as this one here. So 12.5%. So 12.5 is the same, is literally the same thing. So 12.5% percent is the same thing as 12.5 over 100. And if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 10, that's the same thing as 125 over 1,000. Now let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. If we divide the numerator, if we divide the numerator by, let's see, if we divide the numerator, well actually it looks like they're both divisible by 125. We divide the numerator by 125, we get one. We divide the denominator by 125, we get eight. Eight times 125 is 800 plus 200, which is 1,000. So this is the same thing as 1 8. So there's really, there is a 1 8th discount for every item at Crazy Joe's. The equation describes a relationship between a given item's price before the discount and the price after the discount. So let's just think about that. The price after the discount, based on the information they gave here, is going to be equal to the price before the discount minus the discount. So minus 1 8 of the original price. Well, what's x minus 1 8 x? Or another way of thinking about it, what's 1 x minus 1 8 x? Well, that's just going to be 7 8 x. So this relationship is the exact same as this one over here. The price after the discount is 7 eighths of the original price. So we can, we can feel good about this one. These two are the same. Let's look at scenario C. And I will do scenario C in orange. A ticket to the paintball arena costs $7 and comes with eight paintballs. Every extra paintball costs $1. The equation describes the relationship between the number of paintballs x and their price y. So let's look at this. We'll do something similar to what we did up here. So we'll have x which is the number of paintballs. And then we have y, which is their price. And then we will think about what 7 eighths x would have been equal to. And let's see if y is equal to 7 eighths x. So when we get eight paintballs, so x is the number of paintballs. So when we get eight paintballs, the price is seven. And if we take 7 eighths x, so 7 eighths 
times eight is indeed seven. So in this scenario, for this data point, it is true that y is equal to seven eighths x. Now let's get a couple of other data points, and we might have to construct these. So every extra paintball costs a dollar. So if we have one extra paintball, so we have nine paintballs, we're gonna have to pay one more dollar. So we're gonna have to pay eight dollars. And so what's seven eighths x here? So seven eighths times nine. Well, we don't even have to compute it. This is gonna be something, it's gonna be like 63 over eight. 64 over eight would be eight. So this is a little bit less than, a little bit less than eight. But the, the important point is that eight is not equal to 63 over eight. Y does not equal seven eighths x in this scenario right over here. So this equation does not describe all of these data points. So we can rule that out. Finally, they say the equation corresponds to the graph following graph. So let's see if that if y equals 7 eighths x corresponds to this graph right over here. So what we're really saying is that for any x, y is going to be 7 eighths of that. And the easiest one is to see when x is equal to 8. When x is equal to 8, 7 eighths x would be 7. When x is 0, 7 eighths of 0 will be 0. And it's a linear relationship. This tells us that this is, if we have a line, and if it goes through the origin, it is a proportional relationship, that the, the ratio between the x and the y axis is always going to be the same, or that the y and the x, or between the y and the x values is also always going to be the same. And we know that that ratio is the correct one. The ratio of y to x throughout this line is seven over eight. Here it literally is, the numbers are seven over eight, but we can even take other points. The, the ratio of three and a half to four is still the same thing as seven over eight. So this relationship, relationship D, the relationship described by the graph does coincide with the relationship described by this equation. So I would go with B and D.